So please do not do this. This is how normal people shampoo their normal hair. For a minute or so, rinse it well. And there you have it. If you've got normal hair, it's fine. You can do it with your side hair when there's not a system on. It will be fine. Don't, please, please don't do it with a system on. Yes, guys, it's your boy Adam here, the front of Hair System DIY, the face of Hair System DIY. Today, we're going to be looking at how to shampoo a hair system correctly for the best long-lasting results. Why am I making this video? Why am I Surely you know how to shampoo your hair. It's not the same. It is not the same, guys. Shampooing a hair system is completely different to shampooing normal hair. I'll explain why later in the video. I'm going to show you actually some videos of how not to shampoo your hair and how to shampoo your hair. I would have done this myself, but the camera in the shower, in the bathroom, no, 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 no. This camera is far too expensive to even take that risk. But I'm going to show you a video which I came across earlier of a hair system wearer actually shampooing his hair. He's a guy called Mikey. He also wears Levivid. If you're interested in Levivid hair systems like the one that I wear, don't forget that discount code. It can save you a heck of a lot of money. So he's made the best video on how to shampoo a hair system. So he's called Mikey Palmer on YouTube. I would love to encourage you guys to give him a follow. He's a really, really good guy and he makes some great content. He's also on Instagram. But let's first look at how not to do it. So this is just a usual dude shampooing his normal hair. So this is how you should not shampoo a hair system. Do you wash your hair the right way? Let's see. Apply only a small amount of products, the size of a small coin. Emulsify the shampoo and apply well on a wet hair. He's got that bit right. Don't put too much shampoo on your hands because otherwise you're just going to waste it. This is what you should not do with a hair system. Why? Because the hair will get tangled and it will become matted and it will become really hard to untangle it. In some cases, the only way to untangle it is by chucking the hair system. What a waste of money. We don't want anyone to do that. This is how I began shampooing my hair system. And it got so knotted and I had to get, it was kind of like this knot release spray, which I don't even think exists anymore. And when I tried it, it didn't work. And maybe that's why it doesn't exist anymore. Sorry, I'm just fixing my mic. There we go. Okay, so please do not do this. This is how normal people shampoo their normal hair. For a minute or so, rinse it well. And there you have it. If you've got normal hair, it's fine. You can do it with your side hair when there's not a system on. It will be fine. Don't, please, please don't do it with a system on. Now this is Mikey, as I mentioned earlier, he wears Levivid Systems like I do. Hi channel, it's me Mikey, and today we're gonna to be doing a little get ready with me. So you can see the difference between where, this is his natural hair, and then this is, he's got highlights in his actual hair system. Now the important thing is, he wets it first by just pushing the hair down on the hair system. It's really important, because this stops it from getting knotted. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna be drenching my hair, because it's wash day. <laughs> So you're going to want to add your shampoo. So you can see he's putting the shampoo on around the sides first. And the great thing is, when it's your natural hair, you can do whatever you want with it. You can be as rough or as light as you want. It won't tangle. Also, it's super short on his sides. I like that. And look, what he's doing now with the system, just pushing it down. This stops it, or pushing it outward on the sides as well. This stops it from getting tangled. This is super, super important. Gentle you want to be with your system and the system because that means... That and then when he's basically putting water onto the shampoo, he doesn't sort of massage it at all like the previous dude did. He's pushing it forwards at the front. He's pushing it back at the back and he's pushing it sideways at the side. Really, really important. A good scrub. Is he very calm? Um, and not to rush it. You don't need to rush it. You don't need to rush it. Take your time. Be gentle with it. Be gentle with the hair system. Be calm. Take as long as you need. Don't leave the shampoo on too long because otherwise it will oxidize the hair system. But be calm. Be relaxed. Go gently with it. That's it. It's not the point. The water do its work. Exactly. Obviously, you could use your hands like I am here to... The water does most of the work. 
You don't actually have to involve your hands too much. You certainly don't need to massage it out of your hair. You don't need to massage it into your hair. The water will do the hard work. You remove that product. And that's my experience when it comes to lace systems. So now I'm using a treatment balm. And this I want to get through all of the hair. So Mikey mentioned he's wearing a lace system. It doesn't matter if it's a lace or a poly. Just use these same principles. Completely. Brush. And he's sort of putting a balm on. I think he's removed the balm by this point. But he's using a brush to basically brush out any of any excess shampoo, which is still stuck on. So try not to remove it with your hands. Try and remove it with a brush, a paddle brush if you've got one. Really, really important. And it just helps get that product through the system. And it makes it a bit neater and easier to manage. So here we are. I'm now going to dry my hair. Um, so I start at the front because of my spiky style. I like my fringe to go straight up. Draw that it it goes. Um, so that yeah. So you want to. By the way, look. You don't need to hair dry your hair every time you have a shower. I usually do. I usually have the cold heat on, so it's like the lowest heat. It's effectively cold. It's kind of like putting your head next to a fan and drying it that way. That's another thing that I do in summer. I just dry my hair. I sit in front of the fan in our bedroom and I just let it dry that way because it doesn't heat up the system. It doesn't risk making the hair brittle. Remember this hair, the hair on the hair system, it's not renewed. It doesn't get organic nourishment. It will dry out if you keep drying it. So thank you, Mikey. If you haven't followed him yet, give him a follow. That's a really, really good video. What do you guys do when you're in the shower? Is this a method that you've used before? Do you just generally go hell for leather for it? Or have you found that in the past, you've actually found your hair's got tangled because you've been using the traditional approach of washing your hair, which worked for you when you had normal hair on your head, but it doesn't work so well when you've got a hair system on. Let me know in the comments box below, guys. If you're interested about learning how to clean a system, how often you should do it and how to rebond a system, check out my tutorials playlist, which is popping up on the screen right now. There's plenty of videos which you can get stuck into, plenty of useful free advice that you can watch as many times as you like. If you found this video useful, please do give it a like. If you think that some of your friends might be able to benefit from getting a hair system or might benefit from this content, please share these videos widely. I'd like to thank you for tuning in as always, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.